let go. So after last week's testing with the uh, variation of the braking sensitivity, a few people asked what would have actually happened with the obstacle avoidance if you had actually let go of the sticks. Now obviously I did an obstacle avoidance test with braking sensitivity set right down, but my fingers were on the stick. Perhaps uh, a better test, might be a bit more fun, is what happens if the drone is already coming to a stop by itself and then it suddenly sees an obstacle. So again, putting myself at the forefront of possible risk and injury in the name of scientific testing. What I thought I'd do today is try and get the drone running along the back garden, let go of the stick so it's going to sail on. It was sailing on about 13 metres, 40 feet the other day before it came to a final stop. What happens if somebody walks in front of it? Will it come to a stop or will the obstacle avoidance not be on because nobody is touching the remote control. So a bit of a fun, interesting test. Let's see what happens. So as said, what we'll do, go into the three dots, control, down to brake, gain an expo, uh, making sure we're in normal mode settings, bring that brake sensitivity right down to 10. So first of all, I'll do exactly the same as I did the other day. So with it just up, Brake sensitivity down to 10. When it passes the table, let go on its sales pass. So obviously the test will be what happens if somebody is walking in front after you've let go of the stick, what will happen? I'm hoping the obstacle avoidance will still kick in. It'd be pretty crap if it didn't, to be honest. But um, like I said, obstacle avoidance normally assumes there's gonna be input so if I'm not actually putting any input on the remote control, then is the obstacle avoidance still going to be working? So this time, what I will do is jump out in front. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Let go. Okay. The obstacle avoidance works, but only by the skin of its teeth. I kind of thought, that was a little bit close. Um, should I push my luck, do it one more time? I think we've proved the point though. A little bit closer than I'd have liked, but... Okay, that was that. <laughs> Let's go one more time. Let go. Whee! Ooh. Let go. Whee! Ooh. Six inches in it. But uh, yeah, okay, mad, crazy, fun video, but I do like to know how my equipment is gonna behave in different scenarios. So what I proved today is that if you have the brake expo right there, sorry, the brake sensitivity right down and you've got this very long protracted uh, braking, if an obstacle does appear from nowhere, it will still stop, which is um, obviously what you'd expect, but it's nice to know that for sure. So. Crazily short video today, but um, always good to do these sorts of things. As ever, if you like this sort of thing, little thumbs up. And um, until next time, wherever in the world you are, have fun, happy flying.